Okay, hello guys and welcome to my November kit lineup. I am going to show you my lineup with foil for both my everyday planner and my plan with me planner, which you see the videos of on this channel. I showed the first week of November, which is I think November 1st through the 7th, in my last month's video because they were like halloween -y spreads, but I will quickly flip through it just so this month is complete, even though it was in the previous video, but for November 1st through the 7th in my everyday planner, I am using the Dead Inside kit from Scribble Prints Co. I have no idea if this is the new or the old version. I own both. I just grabbed one and here we are. I think this is the old one because I think I got it in a misfit and this sheet's definitely misfitted. So yeah, I'm going to use this in my everyday planner. Yeah, this is the old style because this is the older little things sheet. I like to use the older one first and the bottom washi. So I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be using the Freddy underlays from my shop in Shattered Hollow. I actually think I'm going to zoom in for this video and yeah. So I'm going to be using this November 1st through the 7th in my everyday planner. And then the next week is the 8th through the 14th, which is actually the week that I decorate for Christmas. I'm not using a hollow or a Christmassy kit because I usually I do the entire month of November and the entire month of December as Christmas kits, which I would have plenty of kits to do if it wasn't for my filming planner. But because I need double the amount of kits, I don't have that many Christmas, enough Christmas kits to do two full months of Christmas. So I have brought in some Harry Potter and some Anytime kits. Um, the week of the 8th through the 14th is actually the anniversary of when my mom passed away. Her, she'll have passed away five years ago on the 14th. So because of that, I'm using this kit from Avalon and 9th called Wizard Prison. Let me zoom out because this kit goes this way. Oh, um, yeah. Let me make sure you can see this. Yes, you can. Okay. So, not to get, like, too sad, but, like, shortly after my mom passed away, she passed away in November, and probably, like, in, I think, January or February, I got a giant tattoo on my thigh of a Dementor because it was just how I was feeling. Like, it had felt as though all of the happiness had been sucked out of my life. So, I wanted to use this kit with the Dementors in it for that week because it is symbolic of that and it's a monumental year of like five years. So this is Wizard Prison from Avalon and Ninth. Never used a kit from them, the paper's really smooth. Like it feels like it's not even cut, but it is. So yeah, I'm not sure how it'll go seeing as I have never used one of their kits before. I don't really know the format or how it works with my planning style, but I do love these little like post-it boxes. I hate the grid in these boxes. I probably won't use any of them because of that. I definitely won't use anything from this sheet. Maybe like the Crimes Against the Wizarding World across the weekend or something. I don't really know. But then there's the glitter headers and the date covers, which I won't use the date covers. But anywho, I thought that hollow would go good with this kit, so I'm mixing it, or I'm pairing it with the You're a Wizard underlays from my shop in hollow foil. So that will be the 8th through the 14th. Okay, the next week um, is when I'm starting Christmas in my everyday planner. I have one more week of like non-Christmas kits in my planner, plan with me planner, but not for this one. So for the week of the 15th through the 21st, which is the week before Thanksgiving. Mailman's out there. Anyhow, I'm not getting any packages. Um, I am going to be using Merry and Bright from Scribble Prints a Co. This is the kit. Pop her in the frame zoom her back in now that we have like not up and down kit 
but um, there's a lot of extras with this kit. This was the kit freebie. It's like the little hands and the Merry Christmas. I don't really like this box, so I probably won't use it. We have the yellow 15 millimeter washi strip. And I added on the Fashion Girls because I love her. She's so cute. And then I added on like the extra color because I thought it was really pretty and I liked the candy cane pattern. I wish that this was just how the label samplers were with like little things and more labels. I don't know. Third boxes. I just hate half boxes and I feel like there's so many of them on label samplers. Anywho. So these are the full boxes for that week. I love, love, love the tall box. It's so cute. I love the little smiley face pattern. I thought this would be good after like the super dark kit. Something nice, and bright, fun, and cheerful. And then we've got the bottom washi and then there's that hand box and the other skin tones. So I like to just pop those in there so I can see the kit. Um, for underlays, you guys are really going to see which of my Christmas underlays that are in the shop are my favorites because I use like these same ones a lot, even though I offer tons of options in the shop. I am using string lights, which is my number one favorite underlay for this holiday season. And I'm doing a mixed metal of gold hollow. I need to stand up and make sure I get this good on camera for you. There you go. Gold hollow mixed with hot pink. And I just think that this combo is so fun. So that will be the 15th through the 21st of November. Oh. Then the week after that is Thanksgiving and I loathe Thanksgiving. I hate it. I hate the food. I'm just not a fan of the holiday itself. Just a no from me. So I don't do a Thanksgiving kit. So I am going with this kit, which is called Christkindel. Christkind, I don't know how to say that. This kit um, from SPC. Let me find where I put all of the extras. Here they are. Okay. I did pick up the 15 millimeter washi strip. It came with this as like the extras. And I got fam six, which is the blonde fam for the tall girl. Won't use the kit, won't use the guy. But I picked this kit because there's lots of food in food boxes, which I thought was fitting for Thanksgiving. So yeah, this is like to replace it with the darker hand or the lighter hand. And yeah, let us just go through the full boxes. The extra box is there. This is classic Christmas colors. I love the pretzel. Very strong Christmas vibes in here. And the bottom washi with like the two people with the presents. Super cute. Love that. Let me pop the extras in here. And then for the underlays, I'm doing a pat a mixed pattern and mixed foil. We are doing red plaid too, which is also one of my favorites for this holiday season. And trees in dark green, which I do think I actually used quite a bit of. And yeah, I just thought that this combo was super fun and festive. And so for the last week of November slash first week of January, in my everyday planner, it is the 29th of November through January 5th. It's actually I'm really excited about this spread. I am going to be using Bright Christmas from Scribble Prince Co. And this is what it looks like. I love the colors in it with like the orange is just a very different color for Christmas time. So I love that. Probably won't use the tall box because I don't live in a place in which that would make sense. But it is super cute. And I like that it's included for those who kind of get neglected in the Southern Hemisphere during Christmas time with Christmas kits. Whoa, okay. I love that pattern. It's so cute to me. And then we've got the bottom washi and then the extra box there. I did pick up the 15 millimeter washi strip. I didn't get the Fashion Girls because the one in the kit is blonde, so that works for me. And then I am using string lights again with this kit, but I'm doing them in a combo of orange, there we go, and rose gold. 
thought that would be a really nice, fun, different combo. You never really think of rose gold and orange together. It's just kind of fun and different. Okay, moving on to my Plan With Me planner. Again, that first week of November I've already showed, but I will show it again in case you missed that video. So the first week of November, which is the 1st through the 7th, I will be using Haunted House from Scribble Prints Co. I had too many Halloween kits, so here we are. And this is the kit. There is the tall box, which is stunning. I will definitely be using her. And this 15 millimeter washi strip, the full boxes. I like that there's like, is this two scenes? Yeah, they're two different scenes. The creepy doll, mad creepy. Just like the colors of this kit, I find them to be like very neutral, obviously, but also not like your standard black and white with like the tan and the cream. I just think it's a fun addition. I love the little spidey pattern. I love that. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm gonna have to use a lot of day extenders to make like pop-ups like Rosie Plans does. But anywho, and then with this I'm gonna use my spidey underlays in silver. Super cute. So then moving on to that first like new spread for me to show you, which again is the week of like the passing of my mom. I'm using another like Dementor type of kit, like dark Harry Potter kit. Harry Potter just like is the one like thing that like I turn to when I'm like on that struggle bus. So I'm using this kit from Creativity and Ink. I don't remember what it's called. Maybe it might have been just called it Avada Kedavra, but these are the full boxes. They're foiled and hollow. Got like the dark mark, the Dementor, the Azkaban prison, um, like prisoner number. Deathly Hollow symbol. It's just, it's stunning. I did get the add on of these headers. Love those. There's these check boxes. And yeah, the kit, these format doesn't really work the best for me, but I have a lot of like these kind of colors I can pull in. No big deal. The date covers are also foiled along with the bottom washi and some foily labels there. So, like with the last kit, the, um, underlays I chose are You're a Wizard in Hollow. And I think that that will make a stunning combo for a not so stunning week. Okay, then I have my, for the 15th through the 21st, I'm using an, an Anytime kit, which I'm choosing to use this kit. I don't know how to say the name of it. I'm just going to call it like the Dark Academia kit. I think you know what I'm talking about if I say that. And it is this one. This is the freebie that came with the kit. I think this was back when I was buying mini kits. Yeah. So I did buy the label sampler. I've since switched to just buying full kits, but the label sampler, the 15 millimeter, and I'm obsessed with this fashion girl. She's just beyond cute. So have all of those. And then these are the full boxes. I just like the vibes. I think it's cute. I love how like it really looks like it's raining in that box. Like I said, this is a mini kit format, which I've since stopped purchasing and just buy the full kit. I love the bottom washi. It's so pretty. And then Gabrielle Plans just used this kit and she used these underlays. I already had match pulled them with this kit, so apparently they just really go well with it if somebody else already did it and it is plaid two in gold love that combo i actually switched some kits around and i wasn't originally going to use this the week of thanksgiving but the kit i was going to use is not here yet and i wanted to get this filmed for you so the week of thanksgiving i am going to be using grinch from scribble prints co this grinch one it's like the custom Grinch art she got to emulate the newer newest Grinch movie this was the freebie that came with a kit the hot pink and I did pick up the 15 millimeter washi strip so these are the boxes I love that it's classic Christmas plus the like baby pink in there and I do like that they added in the hot pink in case you wanted to go more add that in there. I don't even know if I'm going to use the hot pink, if I'm being honest with you. I don't think it really needs it, but it's fun to have. 
and then I'm choosing to pair this with trees in dark green and um, string lights in red. I wanted to go for more classic-y Christmas colors, which is why I probably won't really use the pink, the hot pink that came in the kit because I went more Christmassy. You could easily do like, if you're buying underlays from my shop, hot pink, light pink, light blue, mid blue, dark green, red, any of the core colors besides, I think this would look good with gold, silver, or hollow. Gold hollow would look pretty. You have just so many options. And then the last kit for this video is for the 29th through December 5th. And I'm using a kit from a shop that I don't usually buy from. So I don't know how this will go in my plan with me, which you guys will see. And it is this art, and it is called Holly. Um, I just love this art, and none of the shops I typically shop from, I really only buy kits from SPC, but she didn't use this art, so I had to go elsewhere for it. These are the fashion girls. I really hate them. I hate that there wasn't, like, you couldn't just pick which girl you wanted. Why is this girl here twice? Couldn't tell ya. I don't know. Not a fan of that situation. I hate this cat box, but I digress. Otherwise, the kit's cute. I love how chunky her glitter headers are. If you guys know me but at all you know I love a chunky glitter header moment some boxes and icons I like these two boxes and a bunch of labels and stuff and then for the underlays with this kit I did go with a combo both in rose gold of Rudolph and Griswold I thought that they would look very pretty with this kit it's like this box in underlays but yeah, that is everything, guys. If you guys, tell me down below, which kit and underlay combo do you like most? Are you gonna, are you using any of these kits with the same underlays? Are we gonna be planner twins? Let me know. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and then if you didn't, well, just give it a thumbs down. Either way, you are helping out my channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!